Hello, welcome to my channel. The time now is 8.54 a.m. Wednesday morning. My topic today is about some African American people and other people of color got a complex about color. Always trying to tell people who they are. And my mother was told when people say something to you like that, they don't know who they is. Because a lot of people of color don't have no loyalty or um, conscience. And, and that's why other people get things they stick together. And something else I want to say before I do anything else, I must give praise to the Most High. As my Lakota brothers say, Mini Machone. Water's life, but without water, you can't survive. And the day is Wednesday, July the 24th. And um, I want to say something. Yesterday, I was waiting for the restaurant to open up. Um, this African American lady insulted me. Just because somebody have a browner skin, I know y'all have a, a a complex of color. And like the lady, yeah, and like this lady was saying, she don't like when people say colored. And 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 when I tried to explain to her about, uh, because there a lot of people back in the sixties, seventies would say that because they know they wasn't black. And I said a lot of y'all know what the word black means. It's the absence of color. It also mean pale, it's, and stuff like that. Look it up. If you don't believe me? But this lady insulted me yesterday. Are you an Indian? And I told her, yeah. Yeah, you sure look black. And I said, Jericho, somebody have brown skin. By the way, they, they, they always try to tell you who they are. They had that on my um thing when I went to the hospital. I made them change it. They had down there, um, they asked you, what are you? Medical yeah, my medical. They had down there Hispanic or black or white or other. They put me down there as African American. I, that's not what I am. They, tell them they put me down as white. And they put my wife down as white. They they just assume what you are. You're not you supposed to do that. They're yeah. supposed to ask. And I said, take that off the ass. I'm an if indigenous you person. You were, if you say you're Chinese and you're really not Chinese, they you can put that on me. They're not supposed to um decide what you are. So this topic, you hear my wife talk in the background, and, you're, uh, and just like Jesus Christ, like I said before, that don't mean, I know he was a person of color, but some uh, people seem to think, because they said, uh, I talked to people that have been on the street preaching, I call them street preachers, and they say, the Bible describes his color to my, he had woolly sheep hair, and the guy said, what kind of people have woolly sheep hair? He said, black people. I said, not all black people have woolly sheep hair. So you got white people that have woolly sheep hair. And you have other people of color have woolly sheep hair. And um, like I said, that's what I'm saying. I know he was a person of color, but some some, some people don't don't know that. You know, they, they go over there, assume what they think is right. Just like they do me, they, they always try to assume what I am. Because you don't talk like Indians on television. Like that's Hollywood. I said, when you see them Western pictures, me go get cheap, start a war, make kill white men. Indians don't even talk. Like you have some Indians like, yo, man, what's up? And the Indian would have a, if he was from the Midwest, he going to sound like this. Hey, brother, how you doing? Because where he come from, if he come from the South, he going to be like, my name is Robert. Because he come from the South. And stuff like that. You can't assume that what people are. They try to make you be something you're not. They did that to me in New York on uh this boy, African American. I don't even like saying that word, but that's a title. Uh, that's not what you are, too. Um, this boy had robbed a lady right around the corner. You know that it's bus. An American person. You know that bus deep right there by the Pro Daisy Project, right there by uh, what's that clinic right there? We used to go to. I used to go to that clinic right across. Uh, uh, it's on America. What is that? I can't think of the street, but. Oh, yeah, the one is right across the street from that uh, bus terminal. Godborn Yeah, um, so um, he had robbed a girl, this African-American guy. So the police stopped me, and I was on my way home. I just come from work to my, we got a description, and the guy looked at like, had a coat on like you. 
He just had robbed a black girl, 24 years old, and broke her jaw. Oh, my God. And they said he had an afro. And I said, do I look not? I don't got nothing against people with afro. I said, do I look like I got an afro? Afro. Uh, they were trying to be funny. And everybody said, why don't y'all leave that in there alone? Everybody knew him from the Basie Project. So they go, war. they were trying to be funny. I said, do I look like I got an afro? You know, that and the description was all wrong. Oh, back in the seventies you wore a fro for yeah. a while. I had a curly that was, afro. That was the hairstyle. When I was um I when was I used to fight hairstyle. when I used to fight in tournaments and I I made a cover of Black Belt magazine, you had to be good to be on the cover of that magazine. And uh I was on the same cover magazine with Bruce Lee. Not no, you know, not with Bruce Lee. Yeah, uh, most famous people Michael John with Jai White been on there. And um, a girl told me she saw my video, um, Mad Square Guard, which I could pull up. She said, she just popped up on her screen. She said, well, you fighting the Mad Square Guard, you having a red career again, a black belt, and you kicked this tiny guy across the floor. I said, yeah, that was me. And they said a, a grand championship, 1976, and stuff. But getting back to what I'm saying, people always have this color, like Puerto Ricans. If some of them is darker, the person with the lighter skin ones to call them black Puerto Ricans. Well, you part of the same thing they is. Because they, when they bought slaves there, all of y'all related, whether you don't like it or not. Dominicans, Cubans, Puerto Rican, all of them are related. Because they took them to different parts of the Caribbean. And, and I said, you like when my friend said she didn't like Dominican people, I said, well, you Puerto Rican, you still, they still related to you, ain't it cool? Because mm -hmm. they took y'all to different islands. That's all I got to say, but people of color, they have a bad... You explain it properly. They, they took Mongolians, Africans, they put they took Africans, dropped them off in the Caribbean. So each island, it, yes, there are different, different um, tribes in Africa, of course. They have a lot of tribes there, and it's it's very big and and um they dropped off you know Europeans there that were that were um usually workers right and so all the, the people got mixed they intertwined with each other that telling the Caribbean it's the same way whether you know in Puerto Rico or or Mexico there's slaves that came to Mexico there that. The actress, Lapita, I can't think of her last name. She has a Spanish name, but her family was started in Africa and they moved to Mexico before she was born. And that's why they named her Lapita, because it's in Mexican, it's a Spanish descent name. And they got people running around talking about she's an African or um, Mexican. Yeah, she's a Mexican first, because that's where she was born. And second, She's African descent. She was never born in Africa. She was born in Mexico. So, yes, they have real Africans that were born in Mexico because that's they're the descendants of other tribes. But that doesn't, hers is a little bit different. You know, her family didn't come there as slaves, you know, and they weren't runaways. Like, well, right, they yeah. came there on their own recognizance. All right, so you heard my wife said, so I will talk a little long, but I have to go pick up my my neighbor to pick up her granddaughter. So I'm closing this one out. Um, Minnie Machone, Water's Life. Minnie and Machone, Water's Life. And without water, you can't survive. Thank no you matter so what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great day. This episode is called, if you Hello. like this, comment, and share, and like. Do you want to know what the weather is? Uh, yeah, before I go, because I got... No, I wanted to tell them. Okay, you can tell them. Okay. Wait, it didn't change. Give me one second. Keep talking to them. Yeah, she's yeah, trying... This is the 903. Oh, well, that's recent. Okay, right now, it's 72 degrees in Connecticut. Um, Cloudy. And it feels like 72. Um, what's the what's it supposed to go up to? No, today is going to be a less. Uh, it's not going to be um hot. It's it's the they think well seventy nine is hot. That's the highest they expected to go today. Okay.
Thank you. All right, so I'll talk to y'all later. Remember, this topic is for people of color to have complex about other people oh, of color. I'm sorry, something else. Precipitation, in this case, will probably be rain. Is going to occur in 30% of the area. All right, so thank y'all for, for tuning in. And remember, people of color have complex about other Not people. Not every person. I said, no, I said some. some. All right. Thank you. Bye. Have a great day.